Alright, uh, <clears throat> here we are with more Mega Man Maker. Today we will be playing through Air Force Battleship, created by Smash Puppy. With 9 place and a score of uh, neutral. <laughs> with a neutral score. And yeah, I played through it and, you know, I accidentally recorded a black freaking screen. So here we are doing it all over again. Move the mouse cursor, <laughs> mouse cursor, mouse cursor. Um, yes. Um, but this is a forum posted stage, and yeah, we have yeah we have these two guys here. But yeah, I'm going to play as um, good old Mega Man here, just because I want to. No real specific reason why. Um, Smash Puppy said on the forums that the level is, you know, oh wow, <laughs> you shouldn't just rush it like that. Um, he said that the stage is. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. wow, well, I just went into that. Um, he said it is based around Mega Man and not um, around Bass and Proto Man. And Proto Man has the freaking Proto Buster or whatever, you know, the big ass shot there. And. Jeez, I'm doing sloppily. <laughs> Playing sloppily. And Bass had a double jump, so yeah, um. Yeah. I will just play it as regular Mega Man here. Um, I can definitely tell or say that up ahead playing as fast definitely would be easier since <clears throat> you can make some jumps trivial always and you could just skip like the very final uh, gimmick segment of the stage. Um, and yeah, like we had some respawning enemies down there. I think that the best way to remedy that would be to maybe add a few more hard screen transitions in there um, You know as you're climbing Then again, you know, there is the floor there, so you shouldn't get hurt by it, but still it looks a little bit wonky you know? It's a little bit wonky And yeah, like when I first played this Italian negative one uh, I can definitely see it has some slightly frustrating parts up ahead um, But nothing too bad though. It only took me like 10 minutes to get through the stage, you know blind, so I wouldn't say it's a ridiculously hard stage by any means, but yeah. Let's see here. Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> this guy here is a little bit funky with how he's placed. Um, so you can just try and destroy his bullets and, you know, then proceed down. Ooh, wow, how the hell did I not get hit there? <laughs> mm. Yeah, and this guy is pretty tricky too, but if you just time it as such. And I almost, <laughs> almost uh, messed it up. Yeah, I think <clears throat> we're just about halfway through here, if not more. So yeah, the stage really goes by fast. And it's not until now here in the end that we will see some really nasty death traps. I noticed here if you just bolt it, you can just get out without having to deal with those. Yeah, this guy can be a little bit annoying if you like inch your way a little bit too much back and forth here. You know, he, yeah, his health will refill, so yeah. Um, it would probably be nice if we had, you know, perhaps the fans one pilot closer to him, on, or, you know, or worked in a hard screen transition here too, you know, so that um, it would be smoother to fight that guy in particular. Um, yeah, just something to think about. Oh yeah, and this guy. <laughs> this guy is nice. Um, we gotta find perfect place to stand here and just wait for him to shoot and then we go and dang it then dang it <laughs> wow he's just yeah <laughs> he's just <laughs> wrecking me but yeah now we're coming up on the very hard segment here yeah here it is this is nasty um yeah i think like it is a cool segment and all um but <laughs> there is always that but, you know. <laughs> but, um, I think that since it is so far behind or after, you know, the checkpoint, this is probably where your negative vote came from, uh, I would say. Or guess Smash Puppy, and oops, I forgot about the spikes there. <laughs> but yeah, this is probably where it came from. Um, oh, oh, right, we go down. <laughs> Silly me. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, I don't know how much I should... Oh, I'm sitting here and discuss things, but like, 
Um, yeah, I think you mentioned that you would like uh, another pe person's perspective on this, um, you know, to try and kind of improve it. But like personally, what I believe is, you know, it is always a good idea to, you know, introduce or, you know, you introduce the gimmick perfectly, I believe, um, you know, in a spikeless pit, you know, when you introduce the flying bombs there. Uh, which is a good design uh, choice there. Um, however, when, uh, you know, since this harder section is so far behind, you know, the checkpoint here, you know, if the player dies, we have to backtrack quite a bit. And so that probably frustrated, you know, somebody or that one person that downvoted you. Um, well, how would I know? Like, how would I know? But I'm, you know, I'm just speculating. It could have been that segment, is what I'm saying. Um, since, yeah, you have to uh, walk so far back um, when you die. So instead of having it, you know, hard gimmick sections such as this one at the very end of your stage, it might be a good idea to, you know, um, basically, instead of having it like this in the end, you know, build a couple screens in, you know, like three, four screens in with, you know, regular enemy shooting. And then, like, you introduce this long gimmick section, which is a little bit deadlier. And then after this, these three screens or whatever are done, you know, then you can do another four enemy screens, you know, where you just shoot things or, you know, have lighter gimmick usage. Um, so that it won't be so frustrating to go uh, through it all again, because it can be quite punishing having uh, hard section, uh, hard sections like uh, like this one, you know, at the very end. Uh, it's very punishing if the player dies. <clears throat> but yeah, that's just my opinion, though. Oh wow, yeah, that was very close. Yeah, this is like four, uh, yeah, four screens. Over. Right there. Oopsie poopsie. <laughs> there we go. Frame perfect, I think. <laughs> sure looked like it. And yeah, here we have Clash Man. <laughs> Clash Man. Oh, yes, I got trapped in the freaking current there. Yeah, well, this boss room isn't all that hard. <clears throat> it's probably best to avoid standing in the air current, staring the roof, and you know, just you know, wait for him to come close. And, you know, just rinse repeat. Don't shoot too early so that he, you know, jumps, yeah, like that uh, on the fan because it will slow you down a little bit. So, you know, you just gotta wait for him to get uh, up and close and, yeah, up and close to you. And he should be no problem. But, yeah, um, as you can see, what the hell? There you go. <laughs> no, it's neutral again. But as you can see, I uploaded that one earlier. Um, so yeah, I think it's a nice stage all in all, you know. Sure, the visuals are a bit basic, but I think that the layout, you know, makes up for it. Um, it's no, you know, at no point is the stage just, you know, a long passage that you walk down or, you know, just a long climb or whatever, you know, it's constantly shifts up. And so, you know, at least, you know, you definitely did a good job in that department. And, you know, as I always said, Sure, the, the wishes are a little bit plain, but I don't really mind that. Um, the gimmick usage were also pretty neat, you know. Um, so, yeah, I think that if just if the stage was just casualized a little bit, you know, um, if the gimmick, you know, that very um, last hard one at the end there, if it was introduced or you know, if it was started earlier or, or you know, a few screens after that checkpoint there, I think that it wouldn't be. You know, as frustrating to die right there at the end and, you know, having to walk all the way back. I think that's a major problem with the stage. Or, you know, not a major one, but, you know, a problem, a small problem um, that could frustrate people. Um, and, yeah, there were also that one shooting guy that could possibly be frustrating. Maybe try and uh, tweak him a little bit to, you know, make it so that he does not respawn, you know, when you wiggle back and forth on the... Uh, you know, on the fan thingy there. Um, uh, so let's see, what else? Uh, uh, I mean, I guess that's all. Uh, those are only the really two 
things that I would change, I guess. Oh yeah, and there were there were also that one ECE tank in the beginning, um, which you mentioned on the forum post. Um, I don't necessarily think there is anything wrong with having it in an easy location uh, like that. Um, but if you wanted to make it harder, maybe you could, you know, <laughs> bake it in in the harder section there at the end um, or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you should do about it. I mean, I think it's fine the way it is. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't necessarily think that E-Tanks need to be, um, you know, guarded by hard challenges. Um, at least that's not how I think. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm a little bit tired. Um, I've been working my, my night shift, so that's why I'm a little bit sluggish in the commentary, but yeah, um, overall, uh, I thought the stage was pretty nice, uh, Smash Puppy. It was nice playing another stage from you again, it has been a while, so yeah, hopefully you will make more stages in the future, and uh, you know, I'll come back and try them out, so yeah. But yeah, that will be all for that, so thank you guys for watching, <clears throat> and have a nice day.